New problems need new thinking. This program is proudly brought to you by IBM. Let's put smart to work. From basic loan approvals to facial recognition and predictive policing, artificial intelligence is touted as a solution that is faster, cheaper and more effective. But it also has the potential to get it wrong and regulators are worried. To find out more, I'm joined by the Australian's technology editor, David Swan. David, good morning to you. So why is AI and particularly facial recognition technology in the spotlight? Yeah, thanks, Pete. Um, the Black Lives Matter protests in the US have really brought this issue to the fore. Um, police over there were using it to help make their jobs easier and help identify protesters. But it turns out the technology has really significant biases baked in. For example, it um, recognises white people relatively accurately, but it misidentifies uh, black people at a, a much higher rate. Um, technology was supposed to be a, a great equaliser, but it turns out some of these technologies are actually entrenching uh, societal biases. How important is it to address the ethics of AI? It's incredibly important and a really big issue that we discussed on, on this podcast, uh, forward slash. And um, we've seen in the last few months, for example, some of the tech giants come forward. Um, some in particular have said that they won't sell their facial recognition technology to, to police anymore. Um, IBM is one of those. And um, I think we've got a grab from, from Jason Leonard at, at IBM. In a recent IBM study, Four out of five organisation directors felt that AI ethics should be a board level concern, but only 45% thought that they were prepared for this. Here at IBM, we help organisations to scale up AI across their business, but we do so with AI ethics being a primary concern, putting in place the guidelines, practices and monitoring to ensure that decisions are fair, transparent and accessible. Yeah, so Pete, obviously IBM is one company being really proactive here and, and doing something and other tech, tech companies are following as well. What about here in Australia? What's IE AI being used for? We're seeing it slowly touch every aspect of our lives. Um, one really high profile example is the, the robo-debt scandal recently in which the government, the federal government, um, used data to work out who it thought needed to pay them money. Um, it got it very wrong and, and now the government's having to, to pay back millions of, of dollars. Um, so we're seeing what's called the garbage in, garbage out problem, where if you have bad data to begin with, then uh, you're going to get some bad outcomes. And what are regulators worried about? So regulators are starting to worry that for consumers, um, you know, people like you and me, that AI can be used to decide things like home loans or maybe even make criminal justice decisions. And it's what's known as black box decision making, where it uses all this data about us, but then we don't have any visibility about how those decisions are being made. So mm. regulators like the Human Rights Commission in Australia are saying we need to instead keep that box open and um, have visibility so we can see what's really going on. OK, David, thank you. And for more from David and the team on all things artificial intelligence, check out the forward slash podcast. It is available now in the Australian mobile app or any podcast player.